Kiora and welcome to this short video showing you how to work with objects and manipulate them in Adobe Illustrator. So these are the fantastic looking objects that I have made in a previous video. I've been playing with how to choose some colours and how to work with some gradients. Um, I've got the selection tool active at the moment and I'm just going to click on an object. To move it, just click and drag. Avoid any of these dots or any of these nodes, just click in a clear space and you can move it around. As you do so, if you've got smart guides turned on, you'll notice um, these pink guides popping up. So they'll help you align the centers and the edges of your objects with each other, which can be really handy or it can be really annoying. If you'd like to turn smart guides on and off, you can use the preferences. On Windows, it's under the edit menu but on Mac it's under Illustrator, Preferences, and you can adjust it under Guides and Grid. Uh, sorry, Smart Guides here, you can turn them on and off. So there's Alignment Guides and Object Highlighting. I'm going to leave mine on, I find them quite helpful. To easily copy an object, sometimes you get an object and you want to make repeats of it or a pattern or something like that, you can use Ctrl C, Ctrl V, the standard um, keyboard shortcuts for copy and paste, or if you hold Alt and then click and drag an object, you'll get this little double arrow, which allows you to easily make slightly more complex artwork. If you'd like to delete a piece of artwork, select it with the selection tool, the black arrow tool, and just press delete on your keyboard. You can also press Control X or Command X to cut it. You can then paste it somewhere else. If you paste um, just using Control or Command V, it will always go to the center of your screen, not your artboard, but your screen. If you want to cut something or copy it and then put it back exactly where it was, use Command or Control F to paste in front. There's also a corresponding paste and back, which is Command or Control B, but I use that a lot less. To align objects, you can use the Align panel. I have this one up all the time and I find it really handy. So if I'd like these three objects all aligned at the bottom of the page, I can use my black arrow tool to drag over and select all of them. This has made a contiguous selection. With the Align palette open, I'm going to press this one here, Vertical Align Bottom, and because it's saying Align to Page, or Align to Artboard, sorry, they'll all uh, snap to the bottom there. If I don't like that, I can press Undo, which is Control or Command Z. If I'd like them instead to align to this bottom of um, these objects, I can change what it's aligning to. Click and hold here and change Align to Selection. I'm always jumping between Align to Artboard and Align to Selection. Now if I click the same vertical Align bottom, you'll see they all snap down here. Try it out with Aligning to Centre, Aligning to Top, Aligning Left and Right, and see how it changes how your objects move around. You can move when they're all selected like this, you can move them all together as a group. If you'd like a collection of objects, say this collection up here, permanently um, joined together, you can select them. So I'm just going to drag over them and anything that the cursor touched it will select. And I'm going to use Control or Command G to group them together. You can then see it gets this extra frame around the outside. If I click off it and then click back on it, you'll see that they're all selected. And I only had to click once. It's really handy. So there's many times where you will want to group artwork and pieces of artwork together. If you want to break them apart, you have a couple of options. You can permanently break them apart by ungrouping them, which is Command or Control plus Shift plus G, which will ungroup them. You can also right click if you can't remember these and choose ungroup. That will work. Or if you don't want to permanently ungroup it, you can double click on it and go into isolation mode. You can tell you're in isolation mode because the rest of the screen gets kind of um, dimmed out and you have this 
um, selection of objects that you can click on up here, like a navigation tree, so you can go back up the layers till you're in normal editing mode again. You can also double click off an object to get back out of isolation mode. The other thing to note about the selection tool is that it comes with transform handles on your object ready to go. So unlike Photoshop you don't have to apply a transform command, they're built in. If you hover over any handle it will give you a hint about what it will do. So if I click and drag on this I can change the size and shape of this rectangle. These little nodes here allow you to easily add rounded corners to a rectangular shape. Dragging from the sides will push and pull things, whereas dragging from a corner will um, take both top and side at the same time. If you'd like to rotate an object, I'll just make it a bit smaller, move your cursor off the corner so you get this little curved arrow, click and drag and you can turn and rotate your object. If you'd like to rotate your object to a set amount, I'm just going to undo that, Control command z So you can hold Shift and it will snap to the 45 degrees and 90 degrees rotations, which is quite handy for turning things upside down. That's it for this little video showing you how to work with objects in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you.